Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video I'm going to show you the new features of the brush panel in Adobe Photoshop CS6. There are many improvements for the brushes and I would like to show you just a few options that I find really interesting. First of all, if you have a tablet, you will really find this option helpful because now we will have a preview for the angle of our brushes. So if you set the shape dynamics angle to pen tilt, so to control the angle of your brush with pen tilt, then if you use a Wacom tablet, you can easily see the preview, how it rotates around as I'm changing the angle of my pen. To be able to see the preview of what I'm doing with the pen, I just select another brush, this one, and I have the preview turned on here on the brush panel. And then you can see it here on the left side while I'm doing on the tablet. As I'm changing the tilt, the angle of the pen on the tablet, it will follow those changes on the preview. Let me increase the size of this brush a bit. So as you can see, as I turn it around, I can see these changes. And the, the new option in CS6 is that even if I have a custom brush, which I just had previously selected and I'm going to select it again, with the same option under Shape Dynamics, the angle set to Pen Tilt, to control it with Pen Tilt, I can easily change the angle while I'm drawing with this brush. So that is a really useful option. And if you set brush tip shape spacing high enough, then you can even do the whole card uh, drawing with one click or one swipe of your brush. So if you can see, now I just click once and then I draw several cards and on the way I'm changing the tilt of my uh, pen so you can see it changes automatically. So that is a really useful option and uh, you can you can see whatever brushes you have. Let's say I just show you another brush. For example, these construction brushes. I just select this one, for example. I make it smaller and I just erase the background now. With this, I can start building elements by quickly changing the angle of my brush. The interesting thing is that another new feature is that you can even go to the shape dynamics and turn on brush projection, which will also allow you to create perspective changes on your brush again, depending on the angle or tilt of your pen on the tablet. So for example, let me just use a, um, I'm going to use the same color and I'm going to, no, actually I'm going to use black. And I'm going to draw something without uh, the projection. So I'm just going to draw it like this. Okay. And then I turn on the projection. I set the opacity of my brush to 20. And I'm going to align a brush here behind this first one to create something like a shadow. Let me try it again. Make it a bit better. A bit more tilt it to the left, something like that. So as you can see with the same brush, custom brush, you can create lots of different things by just using these options in the brush panel. There are two new features also in the brush panel, two new brush tip shape options. Uh, it's actually a set of brushes. The first one, which is a really interesting one, is the erodible tip shape which means that you can start painting with a brush which is very sharp or like a crayon or a pencil which is very sharp but on the way while you are drawing it will lose its sharpness and the easiest way to see it if I show you with a softness set to 100% and then you will see that my first stroke will be nice and uh, sharp. Let me do this again. 
set the opacity to 100%, nice and sharp, and then slowly but surely it loses its sharpness and it will be much bigger. I'm not changing my, my the, um, the pressure, I'm using the sh same pressure but on the left you can see we lost the sharpness already so the same pressure will draw with a thicker line. That's a really interesting option and you can come up with interesting shapes uh, for your pencil which you can which you can always save if you want but you can sharpen the tip of your pencil with this button here and then you can start again with a sharp tip so that's another interesting new feature but there is also another feature the airbrush brushes and with the airbrush brushes you will notice that you again have a different behavior than in the previous versions if I just press very slightly on the tablet, I will get a nice scattered spray. But as soon as I press harder, I will get a thin line. As you can see on the left, it means that the harder you press on the tablet, the closer the spray will be to the paper. And that means it won't be able to spread. But as soon as I make a subtle line, the airbrush will be further away and that means it will be able to spread across um, the paper. So let's just uh, review that again. So I'm just doing a very subtle spray and also I'm using a tilt of the tablet. And then if I press hard, it will be like that. So the behavior is really well controlled with these new airbrush brushes. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you will join me next time when I'm going to show you more new features of Photoshop CS6. Thanks a lot for your attention.